construction equipment has expanded its ability to provide custom machines for specialized applications. Today, its portfolio of authorized modification partners and accompanying support structures enables customers to meet their individual requirements throughout the Volvo Global Distribution Network. Volvo Construction Equipment supplies complete solutions for automated materials handling and internal logistics. The company has separated all of its material handling equipment into four main categories, storage and handling equipment, engineered systems, industrial trucks, and bulk material handling. Equipment and utensils such as industrial trucks, forklifts, conveyors, etc. used for processing or otherwise handling edible product or ingredients are of such material and construction to facilitate thorough cleaning and to ensure that their use will not cause the adulteration of the product during processing, handling, or storage. Different types of equipment are used in construction work for the handling of materials. So when a company is designing equipment for material, it is necessary to know about the purpose of that equipment. Whether it's for long distance or short distance handling, the purpose of the equipment must be able to carry the material safely in the same condition to its destination. Now in this competitive era where every day new equipment is launched in the market, a big issue in front of companies is to make such equipment which can be used for different functions. The question remains, is it easy for a company to design such equipment? Hello students, and welcome to the lecture on materials handling equipment, where we will learn about which kind of equipment should be used for handling materials. After the lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Understand forklifts and related equipment. Describe the major equipment categories. Explain load formation equipment. Define material handling conveyors. Explain material handling cranes and industrial trucks. Let's start with a brief introduction to materials handling equipment. Material handling, or MH, involves short distance movement that usually takes place within the confines of a building, such as a plant or a warehouse, and between a building and a transportation agency. Design of MH systems. A common approach to the design of MH systems is to consider MH as a cost to be minimized. This approach may be the most appropriate in many situations because while MH can add real value to a product, it is usually difficult to identify and quantify the benefits associated with MH. Let's discuss forklifts and related equipment. A forklift is a piece of machinery which is used to lift and move large loads. There are numerous useful applications for a forklift and many warehouses, construction sites, and manufacturing facilities have forklifts on hand. Forklift forks. Forklift forks are large steel devices used to hold pallets and racks as they are lifted off of the floor and put into stacks. Made from solid steel, forklift forks are very heavy and are machined to be thick near the back of the fork and taper off to a thin front edge. Types of forklift equipment. Forklift equipment generally falls into two categories, lift attachments and basic components. Most basic components are included with the forklift at purchase, although they can be changed or otherwise replaced during the course of the forklift's usable life. Lift attachments are various tools that can be fitted to the lift to accommodate different applications. Forklift parts. Forklift parts consist of many different pieces that create the complete machine, from hydraulic hoses to batteries, cables, and electric motors. Forklift parts are usually very heavy and made of only the best materials.
Did you know the history of the forklift dates back to the 1920s when several manufacturers began to explore new designs for lifting trucks? We shall now discuss the five major equipment categories. They are transport equipment, equipment used to move material from one location to another. The major subcategories of transport equipment are conveyors, cranes, and industrial trucks. Materials can also be transported manually using no equipment. Positioning equipment, equipment used to handle material at a single location. Unlike transport equipment, positioning equipment is usually used for handling at a single workplace. Materials can also be positioned manually using no equipment. Unit load formation equipment, Equipment used to restrict materials so that they maintain their integrity when handling a single load during transport and for storage. If materials are self-restraining, then they can be formed into a unit load with no equipment. Storage equipment. Equipment used for holding or buffering materials over a period of time. Some storage equipment may include the transport of materials, for example, the SR machines of an ASRS or storage carousels. If materials are block stacked directly on the floor, then no storage equipment is required. Identification and control equipment. Equipment used to collect and communicate the information that is used to coordinate the flow of materials within a facility and between a facility and its suppliers and customers. Let's now talk about load formation equipment. Unit load formation equipment is used to restrict materials so that they maintain their integrity when handled in a single load during transport and for storage. If materials are self-restraining, then they can be formed into a unit load with no equipment. Self-restraining, no equipment. 
one or more items that can maintain their integrity when handled as a single item. Pallets, platform with enough clearance beneath its top surface or face to enable the insertion of forks for subsequent lifting purposes. Skids, platform, typically metal, with enough clearance beneath its top surface to enable a platform truck to move underneath for subsequent lifting purposes. Slip sheets, thick piece of paper, corrugated fiber or plastic upon which a load is placed. Handling method, tabs on the sheet are grabbed by a special push-pull lift truck attachment. Disadvantages, slower handling as compared to pallets, greater load damage within the facility. Special lift truck attachment reduces the vehicle's load capacity. A material handling conveyor is a transport mechanism for raw materials, inventory, and finished products within manufacturing facilities and warehouses. These conveyors are distinct from other conveyor systems in their construction and the fact that they are generally used for unit as opposed to bulk material transport. Conveyors are used when material is to be moved frequently between specific points. To move materials over a fixed path, when there is a sufficient flow volume to justify the fixed conveyor investment. Conveyors can be classified in different ways. Type of product being handled, unit load or bulk load, location of the conveyor, in-floor, on-floor, or overhead, whether loads can accumulate on the conveyor or no accumulation is possible. Conveyor system. A conveyor system includes one or more mechanical devices used to move goods from one area to another. These systems play a key role in many types of industrial and manufacturing processes where they may be used during production or storage of products. Bulk material conveyor. A bulk material conveyor is a machine or device designed to transport large quantities of loose materials. These types of conveyors can be found in factories, warehouses, and construction where they are used to move items. Bucket conveyor. A bucket conveyor is a mechanical device used to transport products from one stage to another. Bucket conveyors traditionally are found in factory settings and can be used for tasks ranging from moving small candies off a production line to transporting plastic parts along an assembly line to moving hazardous chemicals safely and more. Elevator conveyor. An elevator conveyor is a continuous belt that can move materials from one height or elevation to another. These conveyors can be powered by electricity, gasoline engines, or even by hand cranking. Truck conveyor. A truck conveyor is a device mounted to a large truck that allows the transport of materials or objects from the bed of the truck to a specific location. The truck itself usually features a large chassis and a diesel engine, as well as a dump bed or other type of containment bed in which materials can be stored. Let's now talk about the material handling cranes. Cranes are machines that use levers and or pulleys to lift significant weights. The ones that a person might pass on the road may look like a fairly modern invention but these machines have actually been used for at least the past 2,000 years, if not longer. General characteristics of cranes are used to move loads over variable horizontal and vertical paths within a restricted area, used when there is insufficient or intermittent flow volume, such that the use of a conveyor cannot be justified provide more flexibility in movement than conveyors, provide less flexibility in movement than industrial trucks. Overhead crane. An overhead crane is a crane which is permanently fixed in place overhead 
for the purpose of manipulating classically large and heavy objects which cannot be moved easily by hand. Steel mills usually have overhead cranes to handle the steel as it's fabricated into parts, and these cranes are also used at ports all over the world to bring objects on and off of ships. Industrial trucks are trucks that are not licensed to travel on public roads. Commercial trucks are licensed to travel on public roads. Industrial trucks are used to move materials over variable horizontal paths with no restrictions on the area covered, for example, an unrestricted area. Provide vertical movement if the truck has lifting capabilities. Used when there is insufficient or intermittent flow volume, such that the use of a conveyor cannot be justified. The characteristics of industrial trucks are pallet, non-pallet. Does the truck have forks for handling pallets or does the truck have a flat surface on which to place loads? Manual powered. Does the truck have manual or powered vertical lifting and or horizontal travel movement capabilities? Manual walk operator provides the force needed for lifting loads and or pushing the vehicle. Powered onboard power source, for example batteries, used for lifting and or travel. Walk ride. For non-automated trucks, can the operator ride on the truck in either a standing or sitting position, or is the operator required to walk with the truck during travel? Ride powered travel speed can be faster than a walking pace. Walk manual or powered travel possible. Powered travel speed limited to a normal walking pace. Stack, no stack. Can the truck be used to lift loads for stacking purposes? Stack can also be used as no stack, more expensive to add stacking capability. No stack may lift a load a few inches to clear the floor for subsequent travel for example, a pallet jack, but the loads cannot be stacked on top of each other or on shelves. Narrow aisle is the lift truck designed to have a small turning radius or does it not have to turn at all in an aisle when loading or unloading? Pallet jacks, often used in manufacturing plants, warehouses, and some large storage facilities to quickly and easily move pallets of goods Pallet jacks provide a simple and easy method of moving heavy objects from one location to another. Counterbalance forklift. A counterbalance forklift is a type of forklift that uses a large counterweight to offset the weight lifted by the forks. The counterbalance forklift uses a heavy cast iron weight attached to the rear of the machine and will typically use the battery pack of an electric lift as part of the counterbalance system. Reach truck. The reach truck is a loading device that is used by a number of different types of businesses that maintain a storage area that involves the arrangement of supplies and finished goods on pallets that are inserted into tall shelving structures. Turret truck. Greater stacking height compared to other narrow aisle trucks, 40 feet versus 25 feet, but greater investment cost. Forks rotate to allow for side loading and the truck itself does not rotate during stacking. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Specialized forklift designs include lift trucks designed for very narrow aisles such as those found in warehouses and stackers. Forklifts specifically designed for stacking goods and pallets. Electric powered machines receive a big electric motor capable of operating both the propulsion and the hydraulics of the forklift. Transport equipment is used to move material from one location to another, while positioning equipment is used to manipulate material at a single location. 
A material handling conveyor is a transport mechanism for raw materials, inventory, and finished products within manufacturing facilities and warehouses. Conveyor belts are one of the more efficient and widely used transport mechanisms in manufacturing, industrial, and warehousing environments.